Now we've had our fair game time in this career already, we've played some teams, we've lost to some teams we shouldn't have done, we've beaten some teams that we kind of needed to beat, and we've done okay in the Europa League. If you saw the end of last episode, you'll know it isn't going swimmingly though, and today it gets very much more difficult. We have Atletico Madrid, we have Leverkusen in the Europa League, and we have the El Clasico. As welcome back guys, you weren't expecting that for an intro to the Barcelona career mode, episode number four of season number one. And disregarding transfers in episode one and two, this could be the biggest episode that we've got up to date. So if you're excited for it already, don't forget to smash that subscribe button down below and turn on the notification bell and watch the previous episodes if you've not seen them. And also don't be afraid to leave a like because that helps push the videos out in the algorithm, as we have them first, Atletico Madrid away from home, at least we played the derby last, we can prepare for that, as then we have Valencia, which will be simmed after a short international break, so our players are definitely going to be tired from that, then we have Leverkusen midweek, which we are going to play, probably not rotate as much as we have been doing in that one, but still get some game time, uh, game time into some fresh players, as then, three days later, we need to have the team fully fit. We are at home, Camp Nou, for the first El Clasico of the season. The first El Clasico ever on this channel. And I am absolutely buzzing for it as Rayo Vallecano follow them up away on the 27th. And Deportivo Alaves to end the episode out. Them two definitely simulated. Before we go ahead and get into this big game, one thing I do want to talk about, apart from it being amazing for our manager rating, is the academy as well. Look at these players we've got in. We've been going through and you can see we've got some bad ones in there. Alex Fuentes. Sorry, mate. You should not be at Grimsby. Never mind Barcelona with that rating. As uh, Same with Alexandre Paulinho. But I've tried to be lenient on positions. Try and get players in each position. Two left backs, two right backs. Got no centre backs just yet. And quite a few centre forwards. But the academy is full. This is it to its capacity. Very nice that we're doing that. I think it is a good idea to always have that full and... It could work out for us. As for this game against Atletico, it is a slightly different team because we have had to rotate it and, of course, we've got bigger games coming up. The Europa League six-pointer, I'd say, for top of the group stage. Leverkusen, now that we've lost a game, is a big one as well. And then Real Madrid. As Ter Stegen is in goal, we've got Roberto at right back. Araujo, Pique and Alba. As Araujo comes in for Christiansen, Busquets comes in for Kessier with De Jong and Pedri just in front of him. Ferran Torres preferred to over Traore because he's very tired. Aubameyang and Ansu Fati played very, very well off the bench. He should have scored two, never mind one, but hopefully he can do it here against Athletic in third. We need to get closer to them and we can only do it with this first big game, big, big, big game of the season. And the team that Atletico are shoving out is Oblak in goal. Very decent. Very, very decent. Yannick Carrasco, Felipe Savic and Peña. Carrasco in the defence with Lodi, Koke, DePaul and Correa. Looks like Lodi and Carrasco need to change with Antoine Griezmann and Luis Suarez, two ex-Barcelona strikers. And in fact, Griezmann is on loan from us at Atletico. So if he's celebrating, and plus he shouldn't be allowed to play in this game, I don't think. By the rules i'm not too sure how he goes in spain but if he celebrates he's gone i do know he's very passionate towards um of course atletico but still no nope, gonna i know he is very passionate towards atletico but still won't be happy if he celebrates as busquets with the ball straight around the corner here we've got an early chance it's pierre emerick Aubameyang, and he's off the crossbar and in never mind talking about luis suarez being a familiar face We've got a new face at the club, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. After costing us a goal against Levante and a poor performance, he's back in the starting eleven, shoves the defender off, and we lead 1-0 immediately against Atletico Madrid. What a game, what a goal. It's 3-7 for the big man as Pedri, round to Sergio Busquets, now on to Ferran Torres. I want to see a lot more from him. He has been the winger, who's the highest rated and come in for quite a bit of money, but not done anything out of the blue for me and I don't really rate him so far and here's Sergio Busquets on the ball right here in the middle that's a good spin from him sends two players and Suarez thinks he were fouled that's just Luis Suarez though in it as Ferran Torres gets the ball over the top right here almost on the half hour mark ball into the box 
looking for Ansu at the back post. Sergio Roberto with the ball into the middle to Frankie de Jong right here. As look at Ferran Torres. Now we're over the half hour mark, but can we double our lead? It's been very dominant from us, and that's good movement from Ferran. A little bit of a tackle on him right there, though. There's now Jordi Alaba. Can he try and find a cross? He's going to speed past Reina here, or Peña. can't remember what his name was. But he's going to actually have to go back into the middle onto Busquets. Now onto Frankie de Jong to hit when it's Felipe in the head. Busquets! Sorry, his name in the stars. And half time here, although we've had an utter domination half with the ball, we don't really seem like we're going to get that second goal, which is a little bit concerning. But we are in the lead at the Wandering Metropano. I can't say it. I can't say it. But what I can say is let's keep it up. Just keep the passing ticking and keep this ball away because although we've not had many chances, I don't think Ter Stegen's touched it at all. So very good stuff right there as Pedri finds Ansu Fati out wide. A little cut away from the defender. He's going to whip one in to the back post. Ferran Torres saved by Oblak. In fact, rather easy for him as well as here's Ansu Fati trying to step away. Does find Frankie de Jong and now Ferran Torres has space. Can he pull that back in the middle? Piero Micro Bamiang! He has skewed that wide. And a change made by ourselves and Atleti. They have put Daniel Vass on, who hasn't done well in an Atletico shirt in real life so far. And that's a poor pass from them. And we've put this guy on, Memphis Depay for Ansu Fati, because he will be playing in the Europa League. So, need some more fitness, as that's a ball squeezed out to Jordi Alba. Back in the middle to Depay, tries to keep it, and does. Frankie de Jong, Busquets, now back into Depay. Can we whip this in? Peña with high hands. Very high hands as he has handled it in the box. A chance to go 2-0 up against Atleti. We've played perfectly here. Just straight to the game plan. Marcos Lorente to come off the bench. But Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang against Oblak. One of the best keepers in the world. Ah, and that didn't really work, did it? I tried the Penenka. I really thought he'd dive, but no. What a costly error as it's still only one. And now they've got a bit of momentum. Lorente... He could make all the difference, Griezmann, and at least Ter Stegen's got involved a bit. Good to get him involved as a rough tackle's just come in from Luis Suarez on Sergio Busquets. Good to see he's still got the bite in him, literally, as it's a red card. It's, it's a red card, it says at the top. Luis Suarez has been dismissed for a tackle that I didn't even see. I didn't even watch the replay because I didn't think it was that bad. And we've got to move on here. Aubameyang makes it two. There is a lot to unfold in that moment just there. 72 minutes on the clock. Aubameyang gets his brace. We lead 2-0 against 10 men now, apparently. I'm going to watch this goal, and then I'm going to watch the tackle back, because I have no idea what happened. Aubameyang just skips past Oblak. Great first touch, and a great finish into the back of the net, but we need to see what happened just there. I have no idea how rough the tackle was. I want to see it. In this replay, is it going to show us right here? That's the kerfuffle. And Suarez comes in. It's he, he, he's, he's high, but it doesn't really look like he connects. So, I think we've got lucky. Now fitting is that for Luis Suarez to get dismissed as Dest. Around the corner into Frankie de Jong. Now onto Pedri. Still looking for another, another elusive goal. As Aubameyang could get the hat-trick. What a sweet turn, and he does. Hat-trick hero. Pierre Emerico Bamiang has won us this game against Atletico Madrid. It skipped his replay. The cameras at the Wonder Stadium, I'm going to call it that. Really don't want to see it again because he smashed it into the roof of the net. The number 25, the old top man up front, has three. What an away from home performance this has turned out to be. Absolutely loving it as Rinter added time right now. If we play like this in the El Clasico, we could be. I said like previous episode... We won't win every single big game. Maybe we will as Correa goes for a shot though. And Ter Stegen tested at the very end. Won't even get chance for a corner. He will have his clean sheet and we will have three points against the ten men. Brilliant Aubameyang. Brilliant Barca. Brilliant couple of points. Up to sixth place which should not be celebrated. But at least we're closing the margin a little bit. I thought to go we're on 16 points. We're on 14. Real Madrid are on 22 how? And Valencia is next up in the league. After a slight little rest, we're going to go with a very strong team. I know we did just win Atletico, but we've got Depay back in the team. Because we're going to rotate it for Leverkusen anyway. We've got Kessier in there. And that 
is very, very, very good looking if you ask me. So, these are in ninth. How will we do? We will just be doing... I want to say fine. We will be doing... Yeah. Fine. Not amazing. It's a 2-2 draw. Pedri with the brace for us. The young midfielder. But Jose Gaia and Burkhardt stole a point for them with 10 minutes to go. Not great when you're trying to get in the top three race. And now focus switches to Leverkusen. And then it's going to switch straight to the big one, El Clasico, but it has to be on this first game. Leverkusen picking two, uh, six points out of uh, two games, of course, which is the maximum. We have only got three points from two. We lost to Motherwell. Motherwell. That's bad, as this is the team that we're going to be playing for it. We've got Neto back in goal. Serginio Dest at right back. Christiansen and Garcia preferred as the centre-backs. I know it's a big game, but they are rotational, and we're going to go with it as Alba stays in. Busquets, Kessier and Pedri through the midfield with Traore and Sufati. And Memphis Depay up front. On the bench we've got Jill, we've got Medjbri or Hannibal, we've got Braithwaite, De Jong, Lenglet, Roberto and Tenyas. And Bayern Leverkusen's team that we face, Lucas Radecki in goal, Fringpong, Tar, Taboshka and Baka. My voice is going, Andrich, Palacios, Bellarabi vs Diaby. <coughs> With Patrick Schick. And actually looking at the Bayern Leverkusen side, it really doesn't look too bad. It looks like they've got a few youth players in there. Looks very, very decent. So it's going to be a bit of a challenge for Ian Wurz. He's an upcoming star. The protege is my favourite on Football Manager. As we're going to ball out to David Alaba right here. Just going to try and attack them straight away as the ball's come straight back to him as well. Busquets now into Frank Kessier. Round the corner. He can hit long shots. But Herodeki can save them as well. Corner ball straight away in this one. We've been good from corners. Depay throwing his body at it, but not getting anything. Need to be better than the Motherwell game. And of course, need to be better than one point against Valencia as Adama Traore whipping a ball in. That's a good one. Memphis Depay was just slightly behind it. I do like his position as a striker, though. I mean, he's been good on the wing, don't get me wrong. But I do feel still... A little bit inside me thinks striker and, of course, centre forward is his position that he needs to be playing. Maybe he can go back there at one point. So, Junio Des with a good block. He's going to start running forward. He's got Aubameyang through that little gap, but he's got a dam with more pace down this wing. It's not Aubameyang, it's Memphis Depay, who might get a pullback right here, but a dam is too fast for his own good. And a ball through right here onto Bellarabi as he's pulled it back to Diabit. 1-0 Bayern Leverkusen. Just had a literal coffin fit, and now Bayern Leverkusen have put us in the nail in the coffin, or the nail in our coffin, should I say, with the youngster getting a goal. The Frenchman, who's usually a winger playing down the middle in this game, Schick puts it down, and it's an easy ball across. Pedro Neto got stranded in no man's land, as we now find ourselves behind. Even though we did beat the first team in this uh, Europa League journey, it hasn't been too nice to us. We only just beat them 2 0, courtesy of a penalty, and a lucky goal from. Kessier, of course, and we did lose to Motherwell, so we need to improve as Memphis Depay got a shot on here. And that's more like it. Straight back in the game, the Dutchman absolutely thunders it in the top bin. It was a narrow angle, that one as well, but that's got Camp Nou back excited. Kessier with a pass on, and bang, left-footed. Lucas Radecki, you stand no chance. Happy to see that one fly in as Patrick Schick on a yellow card as well. On to Andrik, one of the midfielders. Coming across is Jordi Alba, who we do need to get off in this game as well. He's his only left back, and we do want him playing, of course, in the um, in the big game, the El Clasico, as Sergio Busquets onto Adama really quick. Still the last pass has slop it, and they can come at us once more. It's Florian Verts on to Baca. That's a good one through the middle. Diaby, who Schick is behind us, blocked. Still falls back to Ezekiel Palacios. Can't get rid of the ball. Busquets does now, and we're going to try running it down this wing to try and get away from them as Jordi Alba has got no one near him. Can he whip a good ball into the box? That's a good one. That was inviting that cross as it falls to Diaby though, and the speedster gets them away every single time. Being very good in this game. As Schick can't get it around the corner though. Straight into PK. Pedri now onto Depay, who's took a very good touch. Releases one from the edge. I just saw the time and I thought I might as well hit it as at half time it is 1-1. It isn't the best result and not the result we need, but performance is growing. And Busquets with a pass off to Garcia right here. Busquets on it again. Into Andres Christiansen. Dest. Kessier. 
On to Busquets again. We need to just keep moving slightly forward here. Pedri into Alba. Now on to Kessier. We're just trying to slightly go forward. Dest is running round. And that's a bad foul, that. But can he get back on his feet? He can. He's going to try and cross it in just towards the back post. And Traore does get it away. Kessier now on the turn. Kessier's going to strike one. That didn't look too bad. And Christiansen onto Roberto right here. Round to Frankie de Jong. Adama Traore. No overlap coming from anyone, so we'll run it ourselves. Into the box. Pedri gets a glancing header on that. Almost fell to Ansu Fati, but didn't in the end as Diaby takes that down well. Although it is the next game up, I do want De Jong on this field, and I do want to go for this. As Diaby onto Florian Verts. Onto Diaby again. He's slightly gone past him. Verts once more. Can we get this, please? Roberto. On to Pedri. Can we try and get away from this little angle? We've tried. Foul in there, of course. It looks like they're going for a lot of fouls right now. As Adama. No one's fouling this big man. He'll shrug him off as he's around this man here. He's going to try and cut back in the middle slightly. There we go. That's a good little decent run. As Memphis Depay making a decent running behind. One on one. And he's not missing that one. I said I wanted to play him down the middle. And he's got two from that position. We have completed the comeback at home. It is 2-1 Barca. That's much more like it. Brilliant movement and a brilliant goal right there. Threaded through and he has got two. As he even makes way straight after that. He might not be happy because he isn't getting the chance for a hat-trick. But Daniel Gill makes his debut. This youth player is out of on loan in um, January to Elche in this division as well. So not too bad. Not too bad of a move. But still needs more game time before he can fully fit in at Barca's. It's a great touch. First touch in a Barca shirt. I'm pretty sure the fans will love that as we've still got time for another one. And he's in the box. He's there. Fatty can't reach him. There's a ball over the top right here. Bellarabi. Palacios. Oh, Neto. Neto, Neto, Neto. You've got to be catching that. And what a delayed dive as well. That was poor from Pedro Neto. But we survive a little bit of a scare. And can we even do more than survive? Daniel Gill through the middle. Here he is on the ball. He's got men in front of him. And... Not the greatest of passes from the youngster right there. They're going to try and come at us with one minute added on. But they've gone backwards to Botspur. Forward, Frankie de Jong receives that. Adama tries to run but doesn't even get the chance. It is a 2-1 win in the end against Bayern Leverkusen. And a big three points moving on to the next game. Where we need an even bigger three points. Focus on now. Good win. And to be fair, I slacked Pedro Neto off a little bit at the end of that game, but at least he's come to me afterwards and said thank you for the game time and the opportunity. So, can't be too angry with him, as it's Derby Day. El Clasico. It's not really a Derby. Well, it is a Derby, isn't it? El Clasico Derby. But it's not a Derby because they're not in the same place. As this is the team. Ter Stegen, Roberto, Araujo, Pique, Alba, Kessier, De Jong, Pedri, Ferran, Obabian. Memphis Depay. It's the strongest lineup you can possibly get here at Barcelona. And we are going to fully go for it here. I'm not missing out on anyone. I'm at no, I am not. Let's go. At home at Camp Nou against first place Madrid. Have they been beaten yet? Pretty sure they haven't. They haven't. Let's change it. And let's have a look at the team we face. T Bone Courtois in goal. And yes, I did call him T Bone. Mendy, Alaba, Militao and Sule is the defence with Tony Kroos, Casemiro and Luka Modric still in the midfield. Three with Vinicius Jr, Benzema and Asensio preferred on the wing. No Rodrigo and I did see Jorginho is on the bench for Real. A weird sign in that one but what a big game this is. No match build up. Wanted to go straight into this one with a clear head after of course... A win in the last game, so let's see what we can do. Alba, who should be dominating possession every single gamer at home. As Kessier turns away right there. Pedri, can we try and get a little bit of a gap? We do here. Memphis Depay running round, and we've got an early corner. That is brilliant work. Just whip it in. Araujo's in the middle. PK is. Depay's in there as well. Just bounces back out, though, to Pedri. Early start, please. Ferran Torres. We've still got the ball, so we're going to still keep on going. Ferran Torres goes around the houses. Whips a ball in. No one is there. However, there is an injury to the big man. Nicolas Sule has gone down. Must be a new signing himself. And Leonardo Spinazzola. They've signed two Italian playmakers. I mean, one coming from left wing back and one central midfielder. Good bit of business, to be fair, as we put the pressure on the defence. K 
Cassier win that header? He doesn't. And here we go, Tony Kroos on the ball. Chips a little one out to Araujo. Into Furlan Mendy. Benzema, Vinicius Jr. gets the ball away. And now we've passed it on to Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang as he's going to go out wide. Straight into Memphis to pie. He was pulled back there. Spinozola gets the yellow. He knew exactly what he was doing as Frankie de Jong has one from the edge of the box and wasn't the worst. And Tony Kroos with the ball forward onto Vinny Jr. right here as they've really not done much in this game. Over half an hour in and Benzema with a pass trying to get around Araujo but... Can't even do that. Very good from us. As that's not a good pass though. Spinozola straight on it. But Pedri receives it back. I want to keep going down that right hand side. Force the out of position Spinozola. Maybe to pick up another card. As he's done good defensively there against Depay. Pedri. Good pass through. And now he's behind Spinozola. Comes in with a slide tackle. We've avoided that one. To put the cross in to Frankie de Jong. Just doesn't get there. Pedri. Doesn't as well. And a ball over the top as to Stegen. Easily jumps on that one. Big throw out. And oh no, he's come out of his box, hasn't it? Oh, to Stegen. That was so unneeded. They could get their first chance of the game right here. Modric and Tony Kroos over it. Looking for the angle and hits the crossbar. They've had no chances at all. And we gift them that one. Our keeper has to watch himself as Memphis Depay into Pedri. Away. Now has it out to Alba. Can we instantly punish? What a great cross that is from Alba. But there's no one ever there in the middle. It literally goes where the keeper can't get it. And a striker just has to pip in there as Aubameyang. Not like he was against Atletico Madrid here against Real. As we're almost at half time. And in fact are as the scoreline is 0-0 in the first 45 of the first El Clasico derby. And Frank Kessier. He's given a penalty. He's given a penalty for absolutely nothing. It's Jordi Alba, is it? Handball, I'm guessing. Kessier chests it onto his hand. Real Madrid have a chance to actually go on and score in this game right now. After not being in it. Benzema against Ter Stegen. We're 1-0 down straight away in the second half. I haven't even processed that. Literally the first thing that happens in the second half of this game... Is Benzema gets an easy penalty. The second one, Jordi Alba's given away. And what a shocker that is. Even my camera's turned off. It's disgusted. Don't worry, though. We're back up and running with the cameras. Hopefully, we can get back up and running in this game. That's a rough challenge. He should be off. Vinicius Jr. is sent off. This second half is now what I class as an El Clasico derby. It's getting there as we've got the ball straight onto Frankie de Jong. Can't even pass that. Come on, Frankie. There's Casemiro onto Benzema right here, and he's tried to get around us a little bit. Ball in the box. Asensio was always first to that, and how can we let him be? Jordi Alba having a derby day to forget a little bit right here as Pedri gets the ball in the middle. Oh, can he provide something here? He's running down the line, runs straight into Spinozola. That is poor. He's got to get his pass off because now he's out of position. Asensio got men just out of position, getting dragged all over the place now. Kessier, it's round the corner. PK, Benzema, Casemiro, Cruz. Everyone's getting there. Phil Mendy, the left back, is in our box and he's easily past us and he's scoring a goal. Madrid are 2 0 up at our place as I can't even speak. Voices going. Prospects of a winner going. Very, very poor as we've let them easily get in the box right there. Ferlan Mendy jumps in. Near post, Ter Stegen's beaten. Roberto poor defensively. It's turning out a day to forget. Made two changes, Memphis Depay comes onto the field for... Um, well, no, he's already on the field. Aubameyang departs and Sufati comes onto the left and... You know, Depay goes down the middle as now Roberto onto Memphis. We've got a pass through right there. If we can reach it, if it's onside, Ferran Torres. He is. Courtois positioning was terrible. We are back in the derby at home. Brilliant finish. The first goal of his Barca career for Ferran Torres. It was just poked through straight into his path. And bang, past Courtois. Back in it. And Gerard Pique with a ball right here onto Ferran Torres. Almost half, not almost half time, almost full time. So we need to start pushing on quick. Ball into the box. Pedri falls to Ansu Fati. Casemiro with a head away. I was really hoping that might have struck a hand as we've not got many defenders back. 
We have, of course, gone attacking as we need to be in a derby game as important as this one. The first one, Depay out to Ferran. Ball whipped in and it is a corner ball. Ferran did score, but is going to come off for the pace merchant, Adama, as we're going to whip this into the box. De Jong looks like it's going towards PK. Eden Militao away and that moves over. Or is it? Pressure on here. Ferlan Mendy, Courtois. You can see we're pressing forward. Courtois has to hook that away. Only as far as Alaba. But Kessier, you're way too far out wide, mate. Benzema around the corner. Casemiro, he's got a good pass on here. Asensio's offside. Very good work from Gerard Piquet to keep him off as Pedri around the corner. Ansu Fati drops it off to Alaba. This is good passing. Memphis to Pai. Into De Jong. Can we get this out to Adama? That is brilliant work. Adama Traore back centrally. Into Frankie De Jong. Into Ansu. Tries to turn away. Ansu Fati can't get his shot off. And I don't know how long's added on. There's been a red card. There's been a Sule injury. That was first half, though, as it's whipped over the top. Two added minutes. Benzema needs tackling. We need to whip this ball straight forward. Araujo out to Traore. Heads it down to Kessier. Put that ball through. It didn't go through. And the final whistle's blown. We've lost 2-1 to the 10 men of Real Madrid. And we gave it everything in that second half. But it wasn't to be. A penalty and Ferland Mendy scoring against us. We've just got to learn from that derby day. And again after that game, Aubameyang carrying on that he didn't play the full game. We were 2-0 down when you were on the field. You, you wasn't really helping us as we've got Real Vallecano up next in 17th. We've got a very tired team as well, so rotations are going to have to be made, including Dest. Uh, Pedri looks very tired. We'll take him out for like the first time this season he's actually had a rest. Ansu Fati will come in for Depay. I'll make that change right there. And yeah, we'll play that team for Velocano. It still should win, as we've got another simulated game after this as well. Please don't ball it away from home. We need every three points. Ferran Torres gets them those. And straight after that, two days after, in fact, this is a very tight schedule. Alaves, as Pedri must come into this team, I think. I'll say we've got bigger games, but then I'll impress him by sticking him in the squad, because Frankie de Jong needs a rest right now. Same with Araujo, I would say. Um, Dest can come back out, or actually no, Roberto, he let Ferlan Mendy just weave past him. Not too great as we'll go with that for the next team. A uh, couple of rotations, but still should be winning against 13th place Alaves. Come on, I want back-to-back -back wins after that derby disappointment, and that is emphatic. Kessier, Memphis, Jason got one for them. Memphis again, Kessier again, and Memphis again. Three for Memphis, two for Frank Kessier. Does that get us nearer the top three? Uh, don't know, it hasn't shown us, but I want to have a look actually before we play Leverkusen again in the next episode, of course. As where are we? We are fifth. We get in there. We kind of get in there. We've only lost three games this season, but still, three too many. At least we're hitting every other aim that we've uh, got set for us. As how does next month look just before we go into it? Not the best of months right there. Um, it looks fairly quiet. We've only got five games next episode, then four, and then we've got. The Super Cup against Real. We need to impress for that one, as that has been it for now from today. Thank you guys for watching this episode right here. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe if you're excited for the rest of this Barca career. Watch the last ones if you haven't already. And of course, make sure you're subscribed with the bell on, especially to know when another episode comes out. But for now, that is it from me on this channel. Race to 5k subscribers is on, so I will see you all in a bit. Take care Everything and changed. peace.